Hi, Ashley. Good morning. It is good to see you, even though I cannot see you in person um, with our social distancing. Um, I do have some quick questions that we've been getting from some of our advocates and members of our network. So um, first, what are state legislators doing at this moment? So we can't go to the state house right now. No. And um, I think people are just wondering, you know, what's going on right now. Right. So the last time that the legislature was in session was last Thursday when the House approved the emergency funding for DHEC, the $45 million. Um, and so they all went home, which is good. They all need to socially distance. Uh, we need to go ahead and do that. Um, but they are actively working on issues that their constituents are raising. So I'm seeing a lot of really great things that our local legislators are doing, even though they're not in session working on specific bills. They're calling into administrative folks um, at DHEC, at HHS, at the governor's office, and raising the issues that their constituents are bringing up. So I want to raise up, I mean, I'm obviously seeing it I personally always see leadership from females the most. Um, women are leaders. Um, they usually lead the way. And one, um, a couple I want to raise up, one is Mandy Powers Norell, who keeps uh, just interacting with folks on Twitter, social media, Facebook, asking questions, and then taking those questions, problems that she's seeing, hearing, and taking them straight to the governor's office um, and asking to see if any sort of administrative orders could be fixed. Um, I've also seen Senator Mia McLeod holding people accountable, raising up the good data that we're getting from epidemiologists and experts in our state and at the national level, and really holding people's feet to the fire and saying like, this isn't just a joke, you need to take it seriously. And then other legislators are putting out really comprehensive pieces of um, information about where you can access um, items within their own districts. So at the epicenter, you can see um, Senator Vincent Shaheen's been putting out some really great information so folks there can get tested and understand where resources are. Uh, Lori Funderburg has been doing an amazing job of that. Um, and uh, Senator Sheely posted a really comprehensive list for Lexington and the surrounding um, areas where she represents. So just really want you to know that your legislators are still doing work, but you could always be doing more with them, interacting with them, pushing them to do more. Um, so there's that, I'll, I'll leave that teaser. <laughs> that sounds good. So if we can't go through the traditional channels of going to the state house or setting up a meeting with these folks, how do we influence their leadership at this moment of social distancing? So their phone numbers for their in-district offices, whether it's their home or their workplace, are on the state house website, call them mm -hmm. and let them know what you want, need. Um, and then also if you don't interact with them on social media, I would go ahead and start doing it. They're being really responsive. I've seen really great um, back and forth between constituents and legislators via um, Twitter and Facebook. Um, so you can go ahead and interact in that way. And then you can also request that they interact with you in a way that you might see fit. So you could potentially be pushing them, say, hey, we can't meet with you right now. Would you host a virtual town hall where we could submit questions? Um, I'll help you spread the word. And that way my whole neighborhood could ans ask you question answer um, during this time of crisis, let you know what we're going through. And that way they don't have to do all the work and it's just not a one-off. You could be creating this community moment with your local legislator. Um, and I really want to push folks to see themselves as leaders in advocacy in this moment, um, because you are. That's fantastic. I do think this moment really does require some creativity on the part of our legislators. We've seen that already and also from our advocates at home. So thank you for that. Um, also, speaking of our advocates, um, we've gotten a lot of feedback that says um, there is a new coronavirus bill every single day how do I keep up with this federal legislation? What does it all mean? It can seem kind of um, cacophonous at a time. There's just so much going on. So how can people kind of slow down a little bit and take in that information? 
Okay, first I'm gonna start with the feeling is valid. I'm just validating the feelings. Yeah, there are a lot of things happening. It's rapid fire. Um, and so the first thing I just really want everybody to know, you're not the only one. We're all in this to get ran into this together. <laughs> and um, the thing that I do to help filter and understand what is really in motion, like what, what key components of bills are happening, I think about the four, they call them the four pillars. Um, so the four key players, both the House and the Senate. So it's the majority minority leaders within each of those bodies. So McConnell and Schumer in the Senate and then Pelosi and McCarthy in the House. And so I go to their physical congressional pages and their staffers will put out kind of what their main talking points, their main priorities are and list which bills are there. That's probably what you're seeing in the news cycle too is the tension between those. So to understand what's really being discussed right now, what's included and what's not, I would follow along with those. If you're looking for something issue specific, you can follow organizations that align with your values. So Ren has been putting out a lot of content on paid leave and sharing a lot of content from our partners. And we were part of a Twitter storm yesterday. Um, and Courtney, you can remind me of the hashtag, uh, nobody left behind. Is that the hashtag? I think it was protect all people, but we can put it in the comment section. Cool. And then you can go ahead, if you wanted to do that, you click on those and you could see other orgs and what priorities they have. And if it aligns with yours, start following them and they'll make sure that you're up to speed. That's awesome. And is there anything else that you want to share with people about the or anything you want to share from your work from home diaries? <laughs> I'm going to have you repeat the question just because my internet cut out. You are good. And that's something that happens in this moment, y'all. Um, so is there anything else that you want to share for um, people at home, um, your work from home diaries or um, anything to leave the folks with? Um, just that we're all in this together and if you are experiencing something and need to share, share it with us. We will be working hard trying to figure out what policies the state needs, especially with a focus on um, what women and gender minorities need. And, and during this time, um, your feelings are valid. The anxiety and uncertainty of this moment is scary, but we are all our own leaders. We can't depend on anybody else. So I'm gonna be working hard to dig deep within myself to be a leader for uh, my community. And I really hope that everybody else joins in on that leadership moment. All right, fantastic. Thank you for uh, joining me on Zoom today, Ashley. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.